uh, NY fan at NY fan 16. 16? Way to get in early. Yeah. <laughs> Because I gotta figure NY there's fans. gonna be thousands of Ranger fans out there. And, and most NY of them fan, on Twitter. That could NY be Yankee fans? Yeah. Well, not Nick fans. Not Mets fans. Yeah. Kudos to you, NY fan, for thinking of your name 16th. Yes. Uh, no kudos to your question, though. Are the Rangers trading for, def- uh, I guess, okay, a defenseman like Truba? No. Who would the Rangers buy out? Why would the Rangers possibly want, in the midst of their rebuild, to bring in a guy like Truba? Yeah, I, I don't see that happening. And yes, Truba is young. He's 25 years old. But I think, uh, and I know, yes, the Rangers have been linked to Eric Carlson and reportedly one of the potential front runners. But I don't think that's going to happen either because the Rangers, everything is going so right for this team. They're finally doing it the right yes, way to right. rebuild. And they're about to have picks number six and seven. Seven first-round picks in a stretch of three years. They made some good trades. They have some good kids coming over. They signed Adam Fox. It's like, from a, from a prospect perspective, like they have the Midas touch right now. Yep. And you're going to get probably Kapokako, Vitaly Kravtsov's coming over, and everything that they've told me about him, the Rangers, uh, Gordy Clark, the direct, their head scout, it sounds like he's the kind of guy that might be able to go right to the NHL as well. They love him. And, of course, you've got Leah Sanderson, and then they've added, added a couple defensemen to the draft last year. So I, I just don't think there's a rush. And yes, Jacob Truba, uh, I don't think that's a deal you'd regret. Again, if you acquire him, you're, he's an, an RFA, you're probably going to sure. sign him to a long-term yeah. deal. Um, but I just don't know if the Rangers need to think that way yet. I think they're, unless it's like Henrik Lundqvist is driving the bus saying, please give me one more chance right. to contend. Uh, I, I think this is a year which for the Rangers. Which he's not. Yeah, which he's not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I think this is a year for the Rangers to, I, I think like next year, depending on which kids make the team, the Rangers have potential to be like this Really fun, young, exciting mm-hmm. team. Yeah. We've never really described the Rangers that way, I don't know, ever. Uh, it's just never been their team personality. So I think, and especially if you look at the Carlson example, if you're doing that, you're sort of regressing to the mindset that they had when they signed Kevin Shattenkirk. And now Shattenkirk would be, if they're, if, if uh, NY fan is talking about buyouts, maybe Shattenkirk would be the, the candidate. But I don't think there's anybody on the team that they're looking to buy out either. So I think it's going to be conservative offseason for Jeff Gordon, and he's going to keep adding kids. I guess the only argument to bring on it, because, okay, so you, you get him, you sign him for eight. You know, you figure the Rangers are going to be able to contend again in three yeah, years? Yeah, I think three years. Okay, so you're still, you've are still you still got prime Truba then, because he's, what, 20, 25, so he'd be 28, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, sure. I mean, I guess it's just, the to me, where it doesn't make sense is Winnipeg's not going to give him away. No. So you're going to need to get something back, and so why would you trade assets at this point? Yeah, exactly. And it's mm-hmm. got to be. So, and Winnipeg would probably want someone who helps them win now because Winnipeg's in win now mode. So they'd say, "Well, we need Mika Zibanejad or something yes. like that." And the yeah. Rangers, well, that's our first line center, and that would, <laughs> you know, you're what, what's the expression? Robbing Peter to pay Paul, pay Paul. or something? Yes, sure. Yeah, that thing. Yeah. Whatever that yeah, expression yeah. is, it fits there. I think. I, I guess uh, if we're living in fantasy land, Shattenkirk, you eat a bunch of his salary. Would you take Shattenkirk, and then you got a cheapy Shattenkirk to replace Trouba on your defense? But that doesn't seem like style that kind is of so an different. I don't. Like You'd have it. to. I think the Rangers still have to add more. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, well, that's going to wrap up the mailbag and, in turn, wrap up the podcast. Uh, thanks, everybody, for listening. Uh, please go into thehockeynews.com, uh, check out our latest issue, subscribe if you would, and we'll be back next time after the Cup, and we'll know when the season is over, because that's the official end of the season, right? Or is the draft that ends the season? I don't know if the official end is. But it never or, ends. Yeah, I guess it never. It, never, it ends in August. Yeah. It's